tin in the jar, as it says, and it was for preserving fruit in. When you've got a good pop of raspberries, gooseberries, whatever, you filled them, put them in there, filled it up to the brim with boiling water, and then screwed these tops on, and that put them on the top shelf of your larder, and you've got fruit for fruit pie for Sunday lunch all through the winter. And the fruit for this. This is interesting, this Polaroid camera. Polaroid cameras came in in the mid 60s and they became very, very popular. And the Polaroid camera is the best selling camera of all time. And this is an example of it. It was very, very clever for its time because of course you could take instant photos and get instant results without sending the negative away to be developed um, at the chemist or wherever. Yeah, this, this is a cheese grater. You, go, you clamp it onto the table like this, as you did with the mincer, and you put, it could only be a very coarse, probably some hard, dry old cheddar you put in there, and you turn the handle, and out of here comes beautifully finely grated cheese, and it weighs a ton. So the very first telephone that we had in our house in about 1950s, I would think, lifted up, weighs a ton, you lifted that up, and then you dial to a number, like, needs to be heavy, you did that, because you've got the numbers. Friends, I have great pleasure in asking you to drink to the continued success of the Goring Gap Local History Society. So, now we come to cutting of the cake. I hope you've all seen the cake. I'd like to ask one of our founder members, who over the years has done so much for the society, Jenny Everton. Yeah, very good. You can see I've done my best. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. You're very, very welcome. Yeah, thank I, you. I will be here to do it for six years. <laughs> right. Before the 
pieces of cake are handed out, we need to cut it. <laughs> are they coming to cut? There's a lot of pieces to cut. But you, will, you will get your pieces of cake very shortly. Thank you very much. Yes, it's been a super evening. Lovely food um, and good company. Lovely to be with all our friends from the society. Graphs and programmes and all these artefacts from the 1960s. It's been a wonderful evening. It was very good indeed to see the tremendous spread and all the work that's gone into the preparation. And it's been a very, very happy evening overall. I thought the cake was really good. Oh no! Uh, well, it's been a really good evening. Um, in fact, the whole day has been good with uh, very good lectures, and uh, the exhibition has been wonderful with lots of bits and pieces brought in by other people. Um, I just hope that uh, on the way out, people put a lot of money in the clock tower restoration fund box.